Students, today we are going to learn one problem in relation to valuation of shares under intrinsic value method. Already we solved one problem. In that problem, no preference share capital is given. But in this problem, preference share capital is given. If preference share capital is given, along with that, four more situations also given. Yes, look at the problem. The following is the balance sheet of uh, Tanishka Devi Limited as on 31st December 2018. Liabilities and assets. Liability side, 10% preferen preference shares, rupees 100 each, total value 2 lakh. Equity shares, each rupees 10. Total value of the equity share capital is 3 lakh. Bills payable 25,000, credit are 75,000. Asset side, sundry assets, its book value 6 lakh. The market value of the 70% of asset is estimated to be 20% more than the book value. So take 70% uh, of the book value asset which is increased by 20% and that of the remaining 30% is at 10% uh, less than the book value. So the balance 30% of the book value of asset reduced by 10%. There is an unrecorded liability of rupees 5000. Okay. Find the value of share under intrinsic value method. Since preference share capital is given, I said earlier there are four situations. Situation number one preference shares having priority in getting preference dividend and capital. So, in situation one, preference shares having priority in getting preference dividend and uh, capital. Yes. Now, first we will find. Net assets. First we will find net assets. First we will find net assets. Then we will apply the situations. What happened? Take the sundry assets. Sundry assets. Total value of the sundry assets 6 lakh. Of which uh, take 70%. Which is 4 lakh 20 thousand. Increased by 20%. So, 4,20,000, 20% 20 is 84,000. So, now, take 6 lakh, its book value of sundry assets, of which take 70%, which is 4,20,000, increased by 20%. So, 4,20 into 20%, 84,000. Now, 4,20 plus 84,000. So, the 70% of the book value asset, now its value 5,4,000. Then, take total value of sundry asset. Now, we will take the balance, 30%, 1,80,000. It is reduced by 10%. So, 10% of 1,80,000, which is 18,000. So, 1,80,000 minus 18,000. So, the balance... 1,62,000. So, 70% of the book value asset increased by 20%. The balance 30% of the book value of fixed assets reduced by 10%. Now, the total assets, realized value of total assets, 6,66,000. We have to deduct external liability. We have to deduct external liabilities. We have to deduct external liability external liability take the realizable value from the balance sheet we can take bills payable and credit are bills payable value 25000 credit arts value 75000 then in adjustment there is an unrecorded liability unrecorded Liability value 5000. So the total external liability realizable value 1 lakh 5000. So did that realizable value of external liability from the realized value of the assets will get uh, net assets. We'll get uh, net assets. Net assets 6,66,000 minus 1 lakh 5000. So, the balance of net asset available 5,61,000. Then, now we will apply the situation. In situation 1, in situation 1,
preference shares having priority in getting preference dividend and capital prior to the equity shareholder. So preference share having priority in getting preference dividend and capital. Now take the net assets. The total net asset available 5 lakh 61,000. Did that preference dividend. Did that preference dividend. Preference share capital value 2 lakh. 10% dividend is given. So 2 lakh multiplied by 10%. So preference dividend value 20,000. Since preference share having preference in getting preference dividend. Yes. So net asset minus preference dividend. Then we have to deduct preference share capital. Then we have to deduct preference share capital. Its total value 2 lakh. So out of net asset, we should make payment to the preference dividend and preference share capital. So the balance of net asset called net assets, net assets for equity share net asset for equity shares so 5 lakh 61000 minus 2 lakh 20000 so the balance of net asset available for equity share 3 lakh 41000 now we'll find the equity share value by net asset method that is intrinsic value method intrinsic value method formula Net assets available for available for equity share. Net assets available for equity share divided by number of equity shares divided by number of equity shares. Just now we calculated net asset available for equity share three lakh forty one thousand. Then we have to find the number of equity share. The total equity share capital value 3 lakh. Each share value how much? Each share paid up value 10. So 3 lakh divided by 10. So there are 30,000 equity share. There are 30,000 equity share. Now 3 lakh 41,000 divided by 30,000. 11.3 per 11.36 Share. Students, we completed first situation. Now we'll come we'll solve the second situation. Students, now we'll see the second situation. Second situation says preference shares having priority in getting capital only. So preference share having priority in getting capital only. So no preference dividend is payable at the time of valuation of share. Yes. Now we will take the net assets already we calculated. Net assets already we calculated how much? 5,61,000. Here we have to deduct preference share capital. Preference share capital. Preference share capital given in the question its value 2 lakh. No preference dividend is deductible from fix, uh, net assets because Preference share having priority in getting capital only. So no dividend is payable. So the balance of net assets available for equity share is 3,61,000. This is net assets for equity shares. Now we will find equity share under yield value, uh, sorry, intrinsic value method. Intrinsic value method. We will find the equity share by intrinsic value method. The formula net assets available for equity shares divided by number of equity shares. Number of equity shares. In second case, the preference share having only one priority to get a preference share capital. So total net asset available 5,61,000. Did a preference share capital. So the balance of net asset available for equity shares. So net assets available for equity share divided by number of equity share. 
So, 3,61,000 net assets available for equity share divided by number of equity share just now we ascertained 3 lakh rupees divided by each share value that is 30,000 equity shares. So, 3,61,000 3,61,000 divided by 3,61,000 divided by 30,000 equity share. So, each share value under intrinsic value method is 12.303 per share. Students, we completed second situation. Now we will move to the third situation. Students, now we look at the third situation. Third situation. Preference share having priority in getting preference dividend only. Preference shares having preference in getting preference dividend only. Take that uh, net assets, total net assets. So, total net assets available 5 lakh. 61,000. 5,61,000. Situation 3 says preference shares having priority in getting preference dividend only. So we have to deduct preference dividend. Preference dividend. We know preference share capital 2 lakh. Preference share capital 2 lakh on that 10% preference dividend 20,000. So the balance of net asset which is 5,41,000. So these net assets, net assets available for equity shares and preference shares. So the balance of net asset available for equity share and preference shares. Now we should divide the remaining net assets in the ratio of capital of preference shares and equity shares. Now we will take preference share capital, preference share capital value 2 lakh, equity share capital value 3 lakh. Now we will find the ratio of preference share capital and the equity share capital. So here we can cancel 5, 0, here also we can cancel 5, 0. So the ratio is 2 is to 3. Now we will find net asset available for equity share. Now we will find net assets, net assets available for net assets available for equity share. The total net asset 541,000 shared by preference share capital and equity share capital in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So equity share capital ratio uh, 2 is to 3 which is uh, 2 by 5 and 3 by 5. Now the net asset available for equity share is 5,41,000 multiplied by 3 by 5. So 5,41,000 5, multiplied by 3 by 5. So the net asset available for equity shares 3,24,600. 3,24,600. Likewise, we have to find net assets available for preference shares. The total net asset available after deducting the preference share dividends, we have 5,41,000. Multiplied by 2 by 5. So 5 lakh 41,000 multiplied by 2 by 5. So 2 lakh 16,400 available for preference shares. Now we will find intrinsic 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 value method. Now we will find the share value under the intrinsic value method. First one for preference share. First one for preference shares. In this case we have to find the preference share value. For this formula net assets available for preference shares divided by number of preference shares. So net asset available for preference shares is 2,16,400. Number of preference shares. So 2 lakh divided by 100. If we did a 2 lakh by 100, each share paid up value, we will get 2000 preference shares. 2000 preference shares. So, 2 lakh 16,000 divided by 2000 preference shares. 
So each preference share value 108.2 per share. Likewise, we have to find equity share value under intrinsic value method. Now we will take net asset available for uh, equity share 3 lakh 24,600 divided by number of equity share. So the total share capital 3 lakh each share paid up value 10. Total share capital divided by each share paid up value we will get uh, 30,000 equity share. So we will find the uh, equity share value under the intrinsic value method 3 lakh 24,600 divided by 30,000. So each share value 10 rupees 82 paise per share. Students, we completed third situation. Now we will solve the fourth situation. Students, now we will consider the fourth situation. Preference share having no priority in getting preference dividend and capital. So no priority in getting preference dividend and preference share capital. Yes, this is a fourth uh, situation. Take the net asset already we calculated. Net assets already we calculated 5,61,000. We need not to make payment for preference dividend and preference share capital. In this fourth situation, the equity share and preference share both are considered to be same. So what we have to do, first we will take preference share capital. First we will take preference share capital and equity share capital ratio. First we will take preference share capital and the equity share capital ratio. Preference share capital 2 lakh, equity share capital 3 lakh. Now the ratio is 2 is to 3. So the total net asset should be divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So 2 by 5 goes to the preference shares, 3 by 5 goes to the equity share. Okay. Now we will find net assets, net assets for preference shares. Now we will find net asset for preference shares. So total net asset available 5,61,000 multiplied by 2 by 5. Then we have to find net assets for equity shares. 5,61,000 multiplied by 3 by 5. So first we will find net assets available for preference shares. So 5,61,000 multiplied by 2 by 5. So 2,24,400 available for preference shares. 5,61,000 multiplied by 3 by 5. So 3,36,600 available for uh, equity shares. Now we will find the share value under intrinsic value method. Intrinsic value method. In fourth situation, there is no difference between equity share and preference share. Both are considered to be same. Now we will find preference share value. Now we will find the preference share value. Formula is net asset available for preference share holder 2,24,000. 400 divided by number of preference shares. So 2 lakh divided by preference share capital value 2 lakh divided by each share value 100. If we divide we will get to 2000 that is number of preference shares. So 2 lakh 24,400 divided by 2000. So preference share value under intrinsic value method 112.2 per share. Likewise we have to find equity share value. We have to find equity share value. The net asset available for equity share 3,36,600 divided by number of equity share. The total equity share capital 3 lakh each share value 10. So 3 lakh divided by 10 there are 30,000 equity share. So 3 lakh 36,600 divided by 30,000. So each equity share value 11.22 per share. Students, when preference share capital is given, they can ask four situation. In this class, we completed the problem which is given, uh, given along with the preference share capital. In next class, we will solve different problem. Till then, bye and thank you.